In this video, I'm going to show you three ways on how to strip CAT6 cable according to the Low Voltage Nation Facebook group. Hi, I'm Blake, founder of Low Voltage Nation, where we help other people carve out a fulfilling career path in low voltage and technology. So if you're wanting to learn some techniques on how to strip category cable, this video is for you. Also, if you like these videos and you get some value out of them, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, smash that like button. All right, let's get right into it. So I ran a poll in the Low Voltage Nation Facebook group on what do you use to strip category six cable? So in third place is the crimps. So they actually have right here, if you can see that, it's a uh, little hole for putting your cable in. Uh, I got a lot of flack for using these. Some people went out of their way to really troll me on this one, and uh, but it's actually, a lot of people do use it, and it actually works pretty well. So if you see that, uh, the Simply 45 have it, and then I use these as well. I use these more than anything, really, but they also have the stripping tools. So that's number three, are the crimps. In second place is the purpose-built stripping tool. This one's made by Vertical Cable, but a lot of companies make them, and they have different um, blades and different uh, sizes you can use for different gauge and uh, cat six cat six a is what I'm using right here shielded uh, so here is what you do you just put it on there and you twist it around this is supposedly the preferred method because you're not going to nick the the wire if you have it on the right setting so this is the preferred method, but it also, it got second place, so it's not the most commonly used one. So yeah, the purpose-built stripping tool is second. In first place at 259 votes are just regular snips. So a lot of people just use, uh, these are the Knipix ones. They just gently score it. You gotta be real careful. You, a lot of times you'll nick the cable if you're not really good at it, but you don't even wanna cut it. You want to score it and then break it off. Technicians get really proficient with this uh, over time. It's not, when you're starting out, I would recommend using the dedicated stripping tool. But once you get good enough, you can just use your snips to score and then break it and then pull it off. Make sure that there's no copper showing. And these ones don't have the, um, the rip cord in it, uh, this, this particular cable, but some do and you can rip it down and then trim it to make sure you don't have any nicks in it, but just for speed and efficiency, most people, most technicians use their snips to strip cable. So I hope you learned something today on stripping category cable, especially if you're starting out and you wanna use the stripping tool and then you work your way up to using just your snips. Also, uh, if you want some more information on the poll that we ran and some more uh, feedback and join the group, go to the Low Voltage Nation group on Facebook. And lastly, if you want to join our dedicated exclusive group go to join.lowvoltagenation.com we've got security integrators technicians business owners manufacturers suppliers we're all in one big group helping each other be successful whether you're starting your career or you're starting your company so go to join.lowvoltagenation.com and we'll see you soon thanks for watching peace